Hey, Mr. President, I will get you. What is that? I will get you. I will get you. Oh, my dog. Oh, hello. I, I didn't see you guys there. I was too busy uh, doing stuff. Like cocaine. No, I'm kidding. How are you guys doing? You guys doing great? Cocaine? You guys doing wonderful? Hello. Hi. It's uh twelve nineteen in the in the Mernin. In the Mernin. Uh we have to go back to the bitch ass warehouse. Because we forgot our sniper rifle. So let's go douge that. How are you guys? You guys doing wonderful? What you guys been doing? What you been doing? I've been fucking up, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Uh, I had such a bad headache, dude. WrestleMania was this past weekend, and I just, I just, I had a massive headache all weekend. I was supposed to record Monday. I was supposed to record Friday and put that shit up, and I forgot. And then was like, I got there, Millie rocking. You see that, dude? I was supposed to, you know, do that. And I had a headache. Uh, and I didn't get over it till today, so. Here I am. Hope you guys are doing better than me. You know, I'm just, you know, being me, you know? Being shit. You guys did anything cool lately, though? Play any new video games? I played some new video games lately. I played that game I talked about, Crow Country. Finally played the demo. I can't wait. That's gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait, ladies and gentle thugs. Here, let me reset that guard because he's gonna look out. It's so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend it. It's got a demo. And then I played a game last night called Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom. That one's a lot of fun too. I've been getting into them indies, baby. Them indie games. Big boy video ba video games been like been kind of lacking, except for uh, what's that shit called Unicorn Overlord? I've been playing that too. Do do do! I love that game. That's probably my game of the year so far. Look at that famous package! Don't turn around, please. Oh, what the fuck is this? This ain't no damn sniper rifle. This is a grenade launcher. What am I gonna do with RGB? What are we, modern video game consoles with the RGB? Doom. Oh shit, here he comes. Doom, 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 doom. See, I don't know where we're supposed to be going. I got an idea though. Freeze. <gasps> oh shit, who's there? who's there? Oh fuck, dude. There we go. Come on, you know you like my Magoo ass strategy. Don't act like it. Yo, what the hell, McFarlane toys? <laughs> they did make the toys for this game, didn't they? <laughs> well, shit. There, there's an M4 here. God damn it! Finding everything but the shit we need. Who's there? Here, I'm gonna reset the room because they're they're gonna start calling for their homeboy. Let me reset it. Yeah, look at that. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Calm it down. Calm, calm it down, Tits McGee. I gotta finish digging through this strut warehouse and find this damn sniper rifle. Hand grenades. Doom, doom, doom. In here? Nope. Shit. So that's everything upstairs, right? Let me reset the room again, just in case. Cause I'm gonna take a bit. I gotta find the room. Are you sure it's here? I'm sure it's here, right? This is where all the guns are at. Of course it's here. Can we check here? There we go. Let's get the fuck out. Use your PSG-1 to take out the IR sensor's control units. Head to the connecting bridge between shells 1 and 2. What does the PSG and PSG-1 stand for? PlayStation Grenade? Look at them snuggling each other up. Tell you, man, all that ass right gonna make me act up, bro. Now you playing. Whoop, whoop. Got me tripping out here. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. I've been playing a lot of PlayStation 1 games in my free time. I've been playing Mega Man 8. Smegma Man 8! 
Y'all ever play that game? If my childhood had an intro, it would be the Mega Man 8 intro. Like, for realsies. It would be the Mega Man 8 intro. I love that intro. Let's see, how are we gonna... Oh, fuck, dude. How are we gonna do this shit? Oh, I could have made it. Yeah, I think I could have made it. Let's try again. If we get caught, we got. Oh, well. It happens. I've been playing... I played Mega Man 8. I played RE3. PlayStation. Do you? Th do I think I can make it? I can make it. Cause I, you know, it's my my least played like Resident Evil game on PlayStation. So I don't know. Maybe RE One might be my least played PlayStation game. I think RE One takes that cake, but three's up there. I replayed that during during. I was about to say during the Super Bowl. I played that during WrestleMania. It's a classic. It's a hood classic. I've learned over the years to appreciate that one. I never really liked that game. Uh, but now I, I think it's okay. It's all right. Still not my favorite, but... You know, game recognized game. You feel me? I respect it. I respect it. Uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Is there any under... I know there's one over here by the birds, ain't it? The birds. I think you can just shoot all these with your pistol, right? I miss. Uh, I know there's one behind the flag with the shitty snake drawing on it. Oh my god, boy. I get it. There we go, I got it. All right. I can't remember where you get the tranquilizer uh, sniper rifle. Does anybody remember? Because I like fighting Vamp with the tranquilizers. Because it's funny. You know what? I might have to Google that. Where do you get the, the trank snipe? You know what? Let me Google it real quick before we do this. Hold on. I It, it might be... that. You know what would suck if it ended up being inside the tower again? Let me see. MGS2... Wait a minute. Oh, okay. It's when you're. It's when you hit the shell too. I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. I, it's been a while since I played this game, but I, I like. I prefer to use the PSG one on Vamp during the uh, the Emma part because that shit is just funny to me. He has just a face full of darts. And I just find this shit so funny. I think we're good, right? We only have the one left. Let me see. I think so. I think we just got the one. All right. Let's pop some pills and and make some dreams come true. <laughs> dreams come true. <laughs> shit, where is it? How about to make your dream come true? Broom, broom, broom. Oh shit. Almost. There we go. Shit, we're still missing one? I'll find it. You bet your Surrey Bobberino. Because it would have it would have powered down if we got them all. Oh! Right there. There we go. The one that's right behind you on the wall is the one that always gets you. Ryden, I found us a ride. I'm all ears. One of the enemy's Kasatkas. Is it in good shape? Full tank. I'm heading for Shell 1 now. What about that Harrier? It's not on the heliport here. Good. I'll set this one down there then. Can you cover the hostages? They're being held on level B1 in the core. Pliskin, you didn't happen to find any other places where hostages were being held, did you? No, nothing like that. Okay. How many hostages are there? There's a few short of 30. One dead and several wounded. The Kasatka's cargo area will hold 13 max. What about the other Kasatka? I sabotaged it. It can't come after us if it can't get off the ground. Oh. We'll have to make two trips. Can you fly a Kasatka? 
I have a pilot who's flown the civilian model, the KA-62 in VR. There's not a whole lot of difference between the military KA-60 and the civilian model. Cleared for takeoff. Raiden, let me introduce you to my partner, Otacon. Otacon? Hey, Raiden. Nice to meet you. Intruders! Over here! Damn! Raiden, I'll talk to you later. Colonel, I need some answers from you. Who exactly is Pliskin and his partner? I know what you're thinking. It keeps coming back to Shadow Moses. And now this Otacon... A.K.A. Hal Emmerich, Ph.D., a Shadow Moses survivor. Rose? Snake and Otacon both became fugitives after Shadow Moses, wanted for acts of terrorism. An anti-Metal Gear organization. They sabotaged and destroyed countless Metal Gear units throughout the world. And were responsible for the incident two years ago that necessitated the construction of the Big Shell. Snake and his partner aren't terrorists. Jack, why are you defending them? I look back on what I've done here so far, and things like training and sense of duty alone won't get you through a sneaking mission like this. Jack, are you okay? You need something higher. I can't think of the right word, but it has to be pure will, backed up by, by courage or ideals or, or something like that. I'd stake my life on it. The solid snake that saved Shadow Moses couldn't turn into a terrorist. Maybe that's true. But they went down with that tanker two years ago. We even recovered Snake's body. And the DNA test results on the body say it's him. Jack, I know what you're saying, but Snake is dead. He can't be here. Not even as this Dr. Hal Emmerich. But that also means that he can't be the terrorist leader behind this thing. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, a messenger dude. from the Patriots. Right up. Where do I know him from? So you're the boss around here? No, not just around here. I'm the boss to surpass Big Boss himself. Solid Snake. No, that is not Solid Snake. <laughs> You fooling, you fibber. Why everybody lying in this game? The deception. What a pleasant surprise, brother. Save it. You work on mine. Don't say you've forgotten me, Snake. Man, why do you say it like it's a slur? Snake. <laughs> Put so much, so much emphasis on the K. It's about to spit on him. Snake. Right, take cover. Oh, that's so cool, dude. Alright, I'll give you that one. I'll give you old ass that one. That was kind of cool. Stop impersonating him. I'm a whole different game from Liquid. For a split second, I thought he was going to shit his pants. Let it loose. Solid as snake. He's not liquid or solid. He's solid us. This man's on the juice. Come on, right? Don't do this to me. That's the best you can do, snake.
gets the Harrier. Oh, God, I hate that noise. It bothers me. Zoom in. Dun, 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 dun. Blah, blah, blah. You guys ready for some more Yell Dead Cell? Blah, 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 blah. Hey, nipple boy, come here. Show me the big old nipples. Come here. Use this. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, shit. Did I get it? Yo, where'd that fucking missile go? Get a missile. Bop! Bop! Ooh, I thought he was about to... I'll take you out in style. Oh, where the fuck is he going? He just go home. What an asshole. <laughs> what do you think? I'm stupid? Huh? I'm a trained vet. Oh, he got me. Ow, oh, that hurt. Where are you at, bitch? Oops. Fucking miss rapid fire, big papa. I'm just firing. <laughs> just firing them stinger missiles, dude. I don't give a fin up. Where you at, bitch? It missed? Hey, snake. The fuck out of the way. <laughs> That's not good. Wanna do something cool? Oh, yo, the game didn't slow down. Usually uh, your game starts running like shit when he drops those bombs, bro. I'll let you go out in style. Wait, what do you mean by that? So damn squarely. We about to have a battle. Had to dodge the missiles, big baby. Big baby. Lay it on me, snack. Yo, Snake, you get the fuck out of the way, please. I will shoot you next time. I'll shoot through you. Eat the, <laughs> me, eat the missiles, bitch! You ain't shit! Where are you at?
That was cool. You about to pop up and get lit up? You want to battle? Oh shit. Okay, he might be cooking with this one. I'm a little scared. Yo, where'd that missile go, eh? Where I shot that shit? Come on, his health is low. Ain't that a bitch? That's Metal Gear. It's already active. I know I asked you guys this question before. Do you like Ray? Do you guys think Ray's cool? With his, with his weird vibrator arms? Gets his own cool firework. I like Ray. You think he's cool? There's something just primal about Rex that's just off the chain. You know what I mean? Ray is really sleek, but Rex is just big boy. You know, fat daddy. What the fuck is this? Is there anything he can't do? It's running on water. You guys barely managed, but we're all right. The chopper? We need some time for repairs. Oh, the president's all yours. Okay, can I ask you something? What? Are you the snake? <sighs> they said you were dead. No, not me. There are still too many things I need to do. Snake, you're a legend, and that's why I need to ask you this. Legend? A legend is nothing but fiction. Someone tells it, someone else remembers, everybody passes it on. I'm here because I was assigned to this mission, not because I want to. If I could, I'd be out of here in a second. How could you come back to all this? Why keep fighting? There's something my best friend said to me once. What? We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing I was good at, but at least I always fought for what I believed in. What about... What about the DNA results from that body? That was Liquid's yeah, body. Real. He and Snake are identical on the genetic level. Liquid? A deception for our own protection. We stole his frozen body from some organization. Kind of a hassle, though. That's all there is to it. 
Are you two really an NGO? Insofar as we're a non-profit organization of civilians advocating a cause, yes. The cause happens to be the eradication of Metal Gear. We work on our own, but it's a cause worth fighting for. Why would you stick your neck out for something this risky? That's the way I used to look at it, four years ago. I was holed up in the middle of nowhere in Alaska, drinking too much. We have a responsibility to the coming generations, to the world. What responsibility? To keep track of the mistakes we've made as a species. We need to remember, to spread the word, to fight for change. And that's what keeps me alive. You think you can change the future? Nah, I'm not as arrogant as that. What you do isn't grassroots activism. It's more like terrorism. I admit that. But our group, Philanthropy, received some information. A new Metal Gear prototype was being developed here, and terrorists were planning to raid the facility. The information came from a very reliable source. So you're here to... We're here to stop all that. But I also have a personal motive. Looks like the terrorists have his sister in the big shell. We're here on our own, not under anyone's orders. We have our own battles. Otacon's here for someone. I'm not. This is a military mission. Jack, are you all right? Just barely. You almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry, it wasn't intentional. I know that, and I know I need to stay stronger. Say a prayer for me, Rose, so I can come back. You will make it back. I'm with you all the way, remember? That means a lot to me, you know. I'm going to save the data, okay, Jack? Okay, okay, baby girl. Let's let's uh let's let's do that. Oh shit, I forgot to check my audio. <sighs> okay, let's do a new save. Because it's too late now, so if the audio ends up being bone, I can just start over. Colonel, Metal Gear is already gone active. It's not too late. You can still prevent a nuclear strike by securing the president and preventing password confirmation from taking place. Get to the president. He's in the core section of Shell 2. I'm checking the satellite images. Looks like you can get to the core from the other side of Strut L. The core hasn't gone under yet from what we can tell. Follow the railings down, then jump onto the pipes. The only viable strut in the outer perimeter is the L. That attack just now doesn't make any sense. It's like they have no more use for this place. Colonel, you were monitoring the codec calls. That man was the real snake all along. Maybe. Maybe? Don't let your guard down with him. Why do you say that? Because they were never a part of the simulation. They're an unknown factor. You can take your simulation and... We're out here. We bleed. We die. Calm down. Whatever. I suggest that you do, Raiden. Even if that is Snake, that has no bearing on your mission. Colonel, you and Snake used to be on the same side. I don't understand. I read about you and Snake in In the Darkness of Shadow Moses. I don't give a damn what that piece of trash said. Do you get me? You kind of sound like a bitch. Okay, let's, uh... So yeah, I had to, I forgot to... Ch I didn't check the audio before the recording. I usually do a test recording to check the audio, because when we were doing Spider-Man, I lost like two hours of footage and I was super mad about it. But we're too far ahead to stop and check because we'd have to turn everything off and turn it back on and it's such a hassle. I'll just have to redo it if it's bone, so fingers crossed that it's not. I hope. I really hope. <laughs> oh boy, I'm not looking forward to having to do all this again. Alright, uh, so we might die a few times because I want to make that jump so I can get the... Um, I think there's a silencer for the AK-7U or something. But you have to be really, really careful. Oh, shit. First try, baby? Let's fucking go. As the trees say, let's fucking grow. First try. Whoop, whoop. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And we're about to get pissed on, too. I mean, what? Oh, shit. I don't want to drop down and die. This is not a pretty sight. Hurry up and 
Check the situation. So you're going to start checking that situation, Playboy, or... There we go. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Boom, boom. 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 Bomb. Bomb. Do, 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 do. Gonna do some pull ups. Mm. Trying to get buff out here, get these gains. Every chance you get, bro, you gotta get them gains. You gotta have buff arms to go with all that ass you got. Them noodle arms. Okay. I think I can. Okay, I think I'm gonna just. Oh, shit. I think there might be one more guy. Yeah. Freeze. Huh? Whatever. Not my problem. The dude's gonna come out and go, Oh! I'm going to piss my pants! <laughs> I don't know why that dude's so funny to me. I don't know, dude, when he's peeing, it's like he's riding a horse. Mr. Big Dick over here just letting it all loose. Oh, that's so funny. Here he comes! What? You're going to go in my pants? Oh, 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 what? Oh, no, oh, my mouth is open. Oh. oh, that's so gross. How could you? You bastard. How dare you? Come on, one more, one more. One more. Ah, oh, damn, where are you going with this pee? Nice. This man must. What is this, a gallon of piss? What you cook it up there, man? You drinking sodas? You been out here drinking this Dr. Pepper? You was drinking all that Dr. Pepper like Forrest Gump? What a pissy boy. Oh, dude, look at all those ciphers. That's gonna suck. You can just shoot them all down. Oh, you yeah, we can because now we have the AKSU suppressor, so we can straight up just go full auto on these bitches. I'm going full auto on these bitches. Or, we could just throw a chaff grenade. I want to shoot them. What do I look like? What do I look like, dude? I'm trying to shoot some shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me shoot it. Come on, man. Oops. Oh, my God. Blam! Kablooey! Alright. Look at that package! Alright. So then we made it to the Shell 2 core. The air purification room. My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. Your personal feelings. Then screw your plan. I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will send him to the bottom of the ocean, right next to my old man. The launch comes My own. He left my father to die, remember? Olga, we'll talk later. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. I'm headed back there. The upper connecting bridge to Shell 1 is down. What about the chopper? The cam off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut Elm. 
I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Not yet. Their retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. Snake. What about the other man? He's got luck on his side, certainly. He survived that explosion. Listen, Olga, the code confirmation is in one hour. Keep the president alive until then. I know. No one gets in here. Turn the currents on. Of course. Ooh, that My looks like that's going to be fun. On. The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. Come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course. That was part of the agreement. We start living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. It's time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again one last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Any suggestions? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. Right, but make sure you don't hit the president. The president is wired with nanomachines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. Okay. Time to get to my job. So he said, don't test the floor. Good thing that I don't like to listen. <laughs> That's funny. It would have been cool after you got electrocuted. His hair is just standing up and all puffy. All right, my bad, I had to grab something. Okay. Doom, doom, doom. Let's see, so we gotta get to the node. I think it's down there. I don't think there's enemies here right now. It's not until we come back with Emma that there's Goonuses. But I think the stinger. Let's see, let's turn on the node. I think the stinger's in that room that we just went by, but there's a turret machine in there. A turret gunge. Who's there? Knock, knock, open up the doors, rail. Who's there? Knock it off. Dude, I gotta sneeze so bad. sneeze I'd mute my mic I'm always afraid that I'm gonna mute my mic and sneeze and then be like all right and then we got an hour and a half of just good old-fashioned mic mute but we're good Do -do -do -do. cold drinks knock it off yes yeah, so there's the Nikita right there it's not the stinger should we just use a chaff yeah fuck it why not 
this week, please. There we go. Oh, ain't that a bitch? That's just bullets. I thought that was it. Shit. Yo, that shit's lasting for those chaff grenades are lasting forever. Let's go to B1. I think we gotta swim around and look for it, right? The swimming in this game used to always give me just really bad anxiety because I don't like being timed, you know, it reminds me of like you know, Sonic the Hedgehog. And the dun 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 I just don't like being timed. I don't like being rushed. I don't like being chased. I like doing things at my own pace. Bloop, 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 bloop. Gonna call me and teach me how to swim? Or not? Nah. Oh, well, here we go. Colonel, B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. Uh, swimming isn't my strong point. It wasn't a part of the VR training either. Stroke the water and move forward by what? pushing the punch what button. What the water? Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Oh god, up I hate you it. Up, down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. They didn't even try. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. Okay. So let's go ahead and stroke this water. Let's stroke it. All right. We got to find the, the Nikita launcher. The Lafemme Nikita launcher? I think it's like right here, right? Is that it? Oh, what the fuck am I gonna do with some night vision goggles in the water? <laughs> the hell I'm gonna do with that? The fuck is that gonna do? All right, let's go. I think the worst part about this is the uh, is the little like bombs they be having and shit. The mines always make my stomach hurt. Do they respawn? It might be a good idea. No, it's never a good idea to just die. I was about to say, you might as well just run into him and just heal him out so we don't have to you worry have about it with ammo. controlled missile. Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the president before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry. Okay. Hold on, let me finish stroking this water, playboy. Oh shit. That's not good. Oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, we made it. I used to always get lost down here, too, and it's funny because you have a fucking map, and I still be getting lost. I think I just never looked at it. I mean, we were playing this on, like, a 20-inch CRT TV. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> I couldn't see shit. Sitting here swimming isn't his strong suit as he's sitting here wiggling around like a goddamn dolphin. You can do footprints in the water. You come out, that's pretty cool. You guys remember those sandals? What are they called? Skeletos? They look like Raiden's wearing, but I, know it's, it's, I guess it's more like ninja shoes. So you can see like his, his like big toe is sectioned off. Kinda. Y'all ever heard of Skeletos? Come on, tell me I'm not the only one that heard of Skeletos. They're like sandals with individual toes. Sounds miserable, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that sounds terrible. <laughs> just terrible. About the fucking stinger launcher, the stinger splash, this bitch. That the president? I might be too close to end up hitting myself. I don't give a fuck. Just shoot me. I don't care. Yeah, ooh, you shot me. Oh no. You hurt my feelings. Stinger splash. All right, let's do these miscals. So the pro strat is, is you got to keep wiggling it, because if you keep going straight, it's going to start bu -bu 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 boosting. Hey, Mr. President, I'm going to get you. What is it? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. 
you chicken. Should have blew his ass up. President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you? What the hell? Why are you? What up? What? what? Yeah, why are you grabbing the Frank and Beans? Oh, man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Just grab dicks. Foxhound? Oh, you're I a man, see. huh? Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> I would have just had to shoot him after that one. All right, Mr. President. Clack, clack. Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. So low key, I heard that the reason why there are so many long winded nano me, machine I mean, uh, like yes. codec calls in this game. Mr. President. It's my they understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence the necessary scenes, like for launching a nuclear that. strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. 
They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? <sighs> Picture a massive political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocela, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovich's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? the completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire Big Shell facility is the new Metal Gear. What'd you say? No, I'm quite serious. <laughs> What'd the you upper say? The structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right. Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. <laughs> mass-produced? Never mind. The Ray Never unit mind. was Never originally mind. designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. 
Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Hmm? Arsenal Gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks. The Solidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. <laughs> this is card four. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 Core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after Foxtai. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Now, kill me. What the? Yeah, no, stop There's it. no time to argue. Stop the final it. check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's her role! Oh! He's like, wait a minute, that actually hurts. What That's the fuck? Using your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it ex-president? The president! Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom 
to end it myself. What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order. As your commander in chief, I'm counting on you. <sighs> Yo, Colonel, the president just, just like, he's fucking dead, bro. Oh, man. Can we get his dog tags? Let me run his pockets real quick. Oh, for real? He ain't got shit on him? Damn, all his spaghetti. He got his mouth open and shit. Look at that. Damn, he died with his mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> you got red on you. Oh. Well, ah. Uh. Well, we got to charge it up. One, two, three, four. Bah, 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 I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the Nuclear Launch Authority has shifted to the Vice President, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the President to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? <sighs> You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, How Jack. Do it? It's up to you to make sure that the president didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden out. Raiden, tell him. Tell him to fuck What's off. What's your status, Raiden? Snake, the president, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the president on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the president. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Yeah. I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. <sighs> There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago, what really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going <laughs> we public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. 
I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero, so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it! They set all this up just to nail you guys! No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it, then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal Gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich? And his daughter, Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Forget it. We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emmerich... My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. <laughs> Otacon's mission, the finder. Now I gotta find her. Sound like you put me on babysitting duty. Bitches. Oh. Hey, look at that right booty like that. Oh, I know you was looking. You ain't got to lie to me. I know you was. Okay. We got to swim some more. Swim, swim, shallow be? All right, let's uh Let's go for a dipperino. I like how he walks all the way in the water and then starts floating. Okay. I don't think there's. Oh, shit. I don't think there's anything if I go straight. Raiden, are you reading me? 
This is Arakan. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. Wet and wild. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. What? What? Yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that EE e. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal? Yeah, but my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. EE e. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore, that she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn, if she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that. Oh, you know, that's crazy. So we're like super action man, and we're fucking therapists? That's brazy. I think this is just a... Oh, there's nothing here. You know what's down here? A waste of fucking time. That's what's down here. Alright. Alright. Gotta go this way. Watch out for those bombs. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm swimming like a fish, baby. We have to go into the middle, huh? Or we found the Nikita. Rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. Let's go. All right, let's, we gotta turn right. Avoid that bomb and go this way. Booyah. Oh, you like the, uh, they got the, the toy? I'm trying to look at it before I drown. Yeah, the Vulcan Raven toy. I saw at the beginning of the game. In the stanker. That's pretty cool. Oh, they got mines in here. How the fuck did that happen? Who put that shit there? Why is that here? <laughs> Why is this here? The fuck? Alright, here we go. Let's go. Yo, what's good, Stillman? What's good? How you been? How, how you been, Playboy? <laughs> you can walk on the floor, isn't that cool? Look at this. That's key. That's funny. It's not funny. I think it's funny. Whatever, fuck it. I think it's funny. Where's Stillman dead ass at? Where are you at? Is he, where, is he blending in? Where the fuck is he? Stillman! Damn you for real? Stillman! Where your dead ass at? There you go. God damn, Stillman, you dead as fuck. You so dead. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go save the universe so your uh, death won't be in vain. I think we can find... Uh, isn't the PSG-1 around here? I think so. No, it's not. Is it? It might be. I think you get it down here. Not this specific area. 
But, uh, I know I think you get in the water. When I Google it, I think it is. Oh shit, this is the wrong way. I always get turned around here. Not only can you not see shit, everything's all bubbly and doo doo looking. Stinger bullets, fog. There it is, PSG1T. So we did find it. Why the water so Mountain Dew color? I can't see shit. Man, we have we have managed to avoid drowning. What's your favorite Metal Gear Solid 2 line? Let me know. Let me know. Outside of we need to get a fix on who they are. I really like the you know, Colonel. We have managed to avoid drowning. That's a really good one. Look at the reflections, man. That's just so pretty. I don't know about that part though. So that stuff that's floating in the water, what is that? Still ticking. Like boogers? Dirty ass water. Haven't had no bacon since. How you do that? Magic? Next move would be. They even tell me which way a gun is going to be pointed before the trigger is pulled. But your muscles, they're different. This should be fun. Well worth the wait. Oh, you little freak, huh? You little freak nasty? Oh, I see how it is. That's gross. You knew I was coming? You've become a nuisance. I can't let you interfere with Arsenal gear. You guys ready to hear yell dead cell again? She is of no use to us now. But she served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Emma's alive? She was some time ago. But the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again. I didn't do it. <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? This is no ordinary nuclear bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat insulated compression. It was a top secret project initiated by the current president. And Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians, as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the earth, and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. Check for activating arsenal has been completed. All arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> it's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. 
It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you walk in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got. I forgot. So he, you know, he dodges bullets and shit, right? Right? Yo, dodge this fucker. <laughs> Should we trank his ass? No, we should fucking blow him up. That's what we're gonna do. Bam, bam, bam. Suck on those toes. Do, do, do. I'm gonna drop a couple of Christmas surprises down there. Ugh. Ugh. Oh shit, you got really close. Here, suck on these toes. Oxygen! Get your ass back in the water. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> Suck on that. Oh shit, he jumped out. Get back in. Oh shit! Fuck you go. Bloop. Ooh, got him. Guy's back in that water. Oh shit. I'm sitting here trying to dodge these damn. Shit. Knock his O2 down. Ah. Bring that ass back up. Toot that ass, bro. Go back in that water. Oh no, he got my shadow. Oh shit, I can't take out a gun. Like a dog, though. Bro, you throw like a bitch. Just you wait, man. As soon as you let me go, you're fucking oh, it's over. It's over. The fuck? There we go. Oh, look, where'd he go? Melt in that water? And you so dead. You ever get me with that bullshit again throwing them knives in me? I got a snitch on you. Colonel, they've apparently completed the final check procedure for Arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got to get her to install the virus program that the president gave you. When you find her, take her to the computer room on level B2 in the core of Shell 1. Snake, did you catch all that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. I'm going after Emma. We'll secure the computer room. Looks like we can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could. 
But the security for this system is no joke. I need more time. That's why we need her. Understood. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh, what's up? A lot of years have passed between E.E. E. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. Raiden, I think you'd better get moving. Emma's in the locker room to the north, right? I'm on it. Alright, baby. Let's go grab her. Get these... Give me some bullets real quick, though. Do 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 bum 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 Oh fuck we gotta do some more swimming dude they were talking like she was right here Shit We gotta do more fucking swimming Shouldn't be too bad right Oh we don't have a map this time this might be uh Wait was did I was there a I think it's in the room with her, right? I think the node... Let me double check. Yeah, I think the node is by her. So what makes this water so bad that if you go in it, you just die? Is it the juicy water? That water's got some extra salt in it. And Ryan don't like flavor. <laughs> got, too much, got too much seasoning in that water. <laughs> Oh, man, man. I'm trying not to fucking die, dude. Shut up. All right, we came from that way. Let's go this way. Probably a bad idea. Oh, nope. Anywhere where there's a bomb is a good idea. Oh, we found body armor. That means Bryden can wear a bra. Cool. Cool. All right. We came from there. We came from down there. This is in here. The body armor in this in this area is so cute, dude. Oh shit, that's a bomb. Probably put it on. Does the body armor block, like, explosions? We're gonna go this way and turn right. Okay, maybe it doesn't look like a bra, but it looks like a crop top, okay? Oh shit, that wasn't bad at all. You mean to tell me you don't like riding crop top? There it is. Not a fan of his crop top? Huh? Well, fuck you then. I'm a fan. I want to look at it. Look at that. I'm going to put it on during the cutscene, too. That's how much I like it. I think it's cute. Which one is she in? Is she in this one? All right. Dude, why was that P sound so loud? Oh, right? An HD? What the hell? I never noticed how loud in HD that Who piss sound was. Jennifer Hale, what? Really? Ryden, I'm getting you out of here. Get me out? You're lying. Where are you taking me this time? What are you talking about? I'm here to help. Here, I'll prove it. Do you have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Everybody on this project has them. Okay, good. Let's try. Can you hear me now? Nano communication? That's right. I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them. Whatever. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And you came to rescue me? Actually, I need your help to stop Arsenal. I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The president. Really? I need you to come with me to Shell One. Your brother's waiting for you there. My brother? Come on. We have to get moving. This place will be flooded soon. Bro, that's so epic. And show it in slow motion. <gasps> we better move. I can't. I can't swim. Then she's gonna say, I can't swim again. Leave me. You can swim. You used to love it. How do you know? Your brother told me. He's really here? 
That's right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe you. He would never come for me. And I'm telling you he's here, waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me, my mother, when we needed him the most. When my father died, all he could think about was himself. Emma, we can go over all that later. But first, we have to get out of here. No! I hate water! It's hopeless! I can't swim! Isn't gonna cut, I can't swim again? I can't swim! <laughs> Different can quality. I can't! Come on, deep down inside, you know you can swim. I can't keep my eyes open in the water. That endless blue. The water, it, it wants me. It won't let me go. All right, then close your eyes. I'll guide you. I, I, I was injected with something. My, my legs. I have trouble moving them. Listen, Emma, just hold your breath. I'll do the rest. First, we'll head to filter chamber two. Then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath. That's right. How long? Just a little while. Are you sure? I don't fucking know. You want an exact sure. countdown? That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma. I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. By that time, we'll be on the other side. Give me a signal if you think you're running out of breath. Well, what will you do then? I'll swim faster. Hang on tight. And don't mess up my crop top. This shit is cool. Okay, let's go. I'm closing my eyes. Take some deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Wait. What is it? Uh, let me take off my glasses. You know, you should wear contacts. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. Hmm? I wear them for show. Trying to be different from the other girls? No, it's not like that. You sound like a hater, I like right? glasses. And there's this guy I like to used to wear them. Your first boyfriend? No. Somebody more important. Anyway, they bring me luck. I see. Okay, let's go. Man, right? You sound like such a hater. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swim back out of here and save because it's two in the morning and I'm 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 hungry. <laughs> I think this is the perfect time anyway, because once we hit the the midway point, we're gonna get cutscene. Shit! Right. Go with Emma to Strut L. You know, if you dude, exit I know what the I'm Shell doing. Tube core and head south on the KL connecting bridge, you'll get to Strut L. There's no time. Move it. You Press sh down and hold the Shut action up. button Shut near up. Emma to hold her hand. Start moving with the button pressed down and you can lead her by the hand. Push the action button again to let go. By the way, this song right here is one of the best songs in the soundtrack. It's called Twilight Sniping. It's so good. I can listen to this shit all day. Do it. Do, do, do. Are you sitting down? Okay, let's call up uh, Rose and save because, like I said, it's two in the morning. I'm I'm hungry, bro. What's up, Jack? I want some yogurt. I think we've gone some good thing. We fought a boss. Two bosses. I uh, let's hope my audio isn't all fucked up. That would be pretty sucky. Jack. What is oh it? my god, what is it now? I've always been alone. Oh my god. I'm so lonely. Oh my god, man. Rose, we've always not always. What do you mean? You've never slept beside me. Oh, is this relevant? This is not important. I after we've been together in my room, you stay awake all night or you head for the door. Is this really the time to bring this up? Right, what Why, the fuck Jack? are you doing? Why? What? Listen, Rose, I'm right in the middle of a mission and I... Why? 
Why can't you relax when you're with me? Look, the mission, I... Why don't you open up to me? Rose, I, I just can't. All I ever wanted was to share your dreams, to spend a meaningful evening with you. I just wanted to find you by my side when I woke up. Is that asking too much? It's the night. I'm scared of the night. It's got nothing to do with you. Scared of the night? What's that supposed to mean? I can't relax when I'm with someone. Jack, you wouldn't even let me in your room. I need privacy. I just can't be bothered. Bothered? Wrong word. What I wanted to say was that there are certain things that I have to keep to myself. Do you remember that time I forced my way into your room? We'd known each other for almost a year, and you blew up. It was the first time you ever raised your hand against me. Yo, right, it was about the cop. It was about the I was so worried about, about the cold you. cocker. We're Look, busting in his room. I'm sorry. It wasn't your violent nature that scared me. It was your room, your heart. Stop you it. might have some bodies up there. There wasn't anything in your room. Only a bed and a small desk. It looked like a prison cell. <laughs> Rose? Yo, what no if he had a bunch of like big anime no titties all over the walls? Not even like a poster. Po yeah, well Rose, he said no poster. But what if room for sleeping? A lifeless room. I don't know, man. Like I think I'd be a little weirded out. No, I wouldn't. That's I'd be like, I brother. Keep you out. Shake his hand. I thought I was beginning to understand you. Until I saw the brother. room. Would you, you be understand happier if I had a man. picture of you hanging on the wall? That's not what I was trying to say. Enough, Rose. We'll talk about this later. After the mission. Right. After the mission. I understand. Bro, all this bullshit give me indigestion. I want to go eat some, some yogurt. So, thank you guys for big chilling. Like I said before, if you're interested, because you probably know the song is called Twilight Sniping, and it's, it's fucking awesome. I would recommend giving it a little listen. It's pretty, it's pretty poggerino. So, thanks for hanging out with me. It's 2 a.m. I'm going to go eat some yogurt and uh, probably take a shower or some shit. I don't know. Still got, well, it's two in the morning. I got like two or more hours before I fall asleep. I don't know. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you, everyone, for checking out the playthrough. If you made it this far, thank you. You're the man or woman. I appreciate you. Um, you know, if you enjoyed the video, type out, you know, tell me what your favorite part is, Metal Gear Solid. You, know, you just put I'm enjoy, whatever. Just as long as you let me know that you're enjoying the videos, uh, it really keeps it going. It really does help. Uh, you have no idea. It really does help. So thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. I hope you all have a beautiful morning, a great day, an awesome afternoon, and an amazing night. If it is your birthday, you dastardly devil, happy birthday to you. And if it is your birthday, you gorgeous gal, happy birthday to you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.